There's only one time to have pea soup when the weather is cold. Mind you, it's been about 70 degrees. It's January, so I'm just gonna say the weather's cold. I don't know if y'all have ever made onion before. Slice this way so that you can get some nice diced pieces. Tonight we're getting split pea with neck bones. I'm gonna make some cornbread, have some carrots, some potatoes. I've been on neck bones ever since Christmas 2020. I decided that neck bones were gonna have to work for the greens. And boy, oh boy, if those neck bones didn't work, greens was slamming. The neck bones, they was hella jamming. You got the cook. I'm gonna saute my onions in some lard just a little bit. I don't know what it does and what it do, but it does what it do and I like it. I got some split peas, got some neck bones. Onion, I have disguised as basil leaf, my African bird pepper. About that much, see just a little bit. Sprinkle a little bit on my, my onions. I may use some of this Wani's seasoning salt, but who knows. Definitely gotta go with my boy El Guapo. Some cumin, and I can't say that for TV purposes. Pink salt, Himalayan sea salt. There's no problem saying it. I'm just gonna throw the onions in there right now. Ooh, they getting going. Yeah, I let that saute. Got my trusty spoon. Yep, there you go. The censored sea salt, African bird pepper. Definitely gonna spice up the night. Then a little bit of cumin. What's that? Half a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna do some potatoes. I never grew up with a potato peeler. Before. Actually, I believe I was the potato peeler. I don't want any skins. I know these are white potatoes, but that doesn't make it right. These are gonna go in way later. I don't know what pea soup does for you. It just takes me back to a certain place in time. That nice, good, warm, hearty family feeling. Dinner time, pea soup. You can say you don't like it all you want, but you get that piece of cornbread with it and you get that meat in it. See, we used to do kielbasa with it. Hot links, ooh, hot links and, man, hot links and, and pea soup just feel good, man. I'm gonna take a minute to check on the onions, get them stirred around a little bit, or a little bit, however. You got the onions up hella high. We're gonna use a little rolling rock to deglaze the pan. I think now's gonna be a good time to take the neck bones, throw them in with the onions. I'm just gonna let these cook. It's gonna be that process right there. Yeah, and a do-rag. Ah, let's get that about three, two and a half. Cover that boy All right. Something to put the potatoes in. Yeah, boy. One of these days, I'm gonna get you, catch me and my brother going head to head. That'll be the one to watch. The Turner boys, they be queuing. Them Turner men be queuing. Them Turner brothers, man. One thing, as long as there is something in a pantry, me, or my brother are gonna make sure that it turns into food. It might not be the, the creme de la creme, but it's definitely gonna be something to grease to. One thing that you should know, I like to grease. Pony boy and dally when it comes to greasing. He's so greasy, he glides when he walks. So I got a good wash on my, my carrots. I'm gonna go fairly thick. You might want a couple nice healthy bites and you'll split peas. I do, if you don't. That's you. Getting it in is what I enjoy. And the best place to get it in is in the kitchen or the bedroom, but knives are dangerous in the bedroom. But get it in if you need to. I'm gonna hit up the potatoes and the carrots. Wait till you taste it. You ain't gonna be able to taste it. Cause I'm filming this and I'm gonna eat it. Got my vegetables ready. Got the neck bones sitting in the onion saute. Got one bag. Chicago Verde Partido. Poa Casse Verde Partido. Chicago Verde, oh, green chickpea parts. So those will go in in a minute. Lost one light, now it's just me and you. It's that reality setting in now. Time to take off the hat. Be right back. Pull that split pea soup off the stove top. Cornbread coming out the oven. Bowl, fit to be made. Taste, gonna have to let you know. It is that time to feast like anybody should. I wish you were here and I would share this with you. Split pea soup with potatoes and carrots, neck bones, split peas. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave that right there. It's just to steam up your face. A little bit of cornbread, jiffy. I'm not trying to waste time making cornbread. Jiffy in a box, works on holidays, ordinary days. Today's a Thursday. <laughs> it always looks good whenever I eat it because when I make it, but just so you know, this is a uh, true reaction to my own food. And I haven't tasted it after I seasoned it. 
Amazing. I haven't let myself down once yet. Anytime you cook food, it doesn't matter if food doesn't taste good. Cornbread with the bad half and half, it's like a quarter and a quarter, third and a third. <laughs> it ain't that bad. Yeah, yeah. As long as it takes me to finish this pot, I know for damn sure that I will not die of starvation. Even if it tasted gross, I still wouldn't die of starvation. I just might die of like food tasting grossness. You don't need a lot of seasoning, man. I'm trying to tell you. Carrots provide enough flavor. The potatoes provide enough potato. The neck bones, the neck bones, they provide enough flavor. Smoked neck bones? I prefer non-smoking, but smoked neck bones are way better than non-smoking neck bones. Yeah. You should get in my kitchen. That way, at least you can eat. But I don't mind showing you how to eat. Take your spoon, tip it off the backside if you're eating soup. Take a bite. If it burns your mouth, then you go. If it doesn't, and if you're a man, then you should eat soup like a lady. Gets you fucking points every time. Black Halston in my kitchen. Oh man, I wish you could be here. <laughs> I don't mind that you're not. Take care, eat food. With people, it's even better. If you don't love anything, then find out what love is, especially when it's good. I'm out of here. Till next time, thank you, and you're welcome. Peace. All right, now.